Hi guys, I'm Tommy Horner, and I'm going to be teaching you some upright and electric bass, and then Dr. Blank is going to come in specifically with the double bass, that's her specialty. Um, but first, before anything, there's two things we need to do. One, cut your fingernails. If you have sharp fingernails, your tone is going to be awful. I always carry a nail clipper in my case, number one. Number two is hand stretches, and I'll show those shortly. The name of the game here is injury prevention, right? It's the whole reason I'm making this video, right? I've seen a lot of bass players get arthritis, tendonitis, um, pedis elbow, you name it, something bad, right? And it's because they don't stretch before you're supposed to play because it's a very physically taxing instrument and you're supposed to stretch, otherwise you're going to hurt yourself. So first, let's move our arms counterclockwise like this, right? The reason you move your arms is because even though you're mostly moving your wrists and your fingers, your arms are holding it the whole time. And especially in upright bass, those things are massive. So you really need to go clockwise and counterclockwise just to make sure they're all nice and limber. Stretch it this way. Take your forearm and you grab the forearm of your other arm and stretch it by pulling it inside. Seems pretty good. And then do it with the other one. Right? Now our arms are all nice and limber, okay? Now we are going to stretch our wrist and fingers, right? So what you do is you grab your fingers, right? You should hear a crack. And you pull your wrist towards you. Hold for like a 10 seconds. And make, you can make it a quick 10 seconds, right? Now do it with your knuckles facing out like this, right? Now as you can see, my wrist is actually like abnormal, abnormally flexible. Um, that's not going to be the case if you've just started, if you're a beginner, right? So do it with your other arm, right? And this is just because of years of weathered veteran experience, right? This is going to take a minute for your arms to get this gross. Because it is kind of gross and unnatural looking, like this is not normal, right? This is going to take like a minute of you stretching a lot. Right, so don't get frustrated. It's going to hurt at first, but it's going to help you in the long run. Do not wrap your thumb around like this, okay? What you need to do, and I'll get an aerial view. Fancy, right? Wrap it around like this, right? It's a fifth fret just to demonstrate. Your thumb needs to be in the middle of the neck like this. As you can see, it's way easier for my for me for my fingers to go around. If it's like this, right? I can't even like like your fingers are so fatty they can't do it. They it has to be in the middle just like that, right? Look how much easier it is. A lot more precision. that does it for electric bass and stretching and now we're going to move on to some of Dr. Boeing's thoughts with the upright bass and then I'm going to demonstrate it while she's talking.